There are moments in the history of science where silence becomes louder than any explosion, and this, this is one of them. It wasn't an asteroid, a dying star, or a newborn galaxy that triggered the alarm. It was silence itself. The James Webb Space Telescope, orbiting a million miles from Earth and gazing deeper into the universe than any human-made instrument before, was observing a sector of space previously thought to be completely void, a lifeless vacuum between galaxies, just a blind spot in the cosmic map. But what it found there shattered that assumption. In the quietest part of the cosmos, the telescope detected a shadow that wasn't casting light nor reflecting it. It was devouring it. And then, something even stranger happened. That darkness moved, slowly, deliberately, as if it knew we were watching. What the telescope recorded next forced a team of astrophysicists, cosmologists, and mathematicians to abandon known models of reality altogether. Because this was no comet, no pulsar, no black hole. This was something else. Something that thinks. Something that reacts. And perhaps, something that remembers. This is the story of what James Webb just uncovered in the deep. An object so terrifying in its behavior, so unnatural in its physics, that scientists have begun whispering the unthinkable. What if it's not from our universe at all? It all began during a deep field survey near the Eridanus Supervoid, a vast, almost mythic region of space known for its mysterious cold spots and unusually low galaxy density. While calibrating infrared sensors for a galaxy mapping project, the James Webb Telescope picked up an anomaly that was too symmetrical to be natural, yet too chaotic to be artificial. Instead of seeing distant galaxies or interstellar gas, the telescope detected a perfect circle of silence. No light escaped it. No light bent around it. This wasn't gravitational lensing. It was more like an interruption in the fabric of the universe itself. Picture dropping ink into a still glass of water and watching the water vanish instead. That's what the data showed. An area not just void of matter, but void of physical law. Initial theories suggested it might be a previously unknown type of black hole, but the mass calculations didn't add up. There was no X-ray emission. No gravitational ripple, just a cold, dark region of utter stillness that made absolutely no sense. And then, over the course of several days, the perimeter of that object began to fluctuate, not like a celestial body in orbit, but like something breathing. Scientists from multiple institutions began analyzing the light echoes surrounding the anomaly, and what they found was more unsettling than any black hole or supernova could ever be. The flickers of distorted light that rippled away from the object weren't random. They followed a sequence, precise intervals that matched prime numbers. First two, then three, five, seven, eleven. As if the object wasn't just existing, it was signaling. But signaling to what? Or whom? What's more, this signal wasn't electromagnetic. It wasn't radio, infrared, gamma, or any other known wave. It was a disruption in space-time itself. The Webb Telescope's most sensitive gyroscopes recorded microscopic shifts that coincided with each signal burst, like something was nudging the structure of reality on a fundamental level. It didn't just break the rules of astrophysics, it mocked them. Mathematicians were brought in. Quantum physicists pored over the data. The conclusion? These were not natural pulses, but the fingerprints of intention. No known stellar object behaves this way, not quasars, not dark matter clumps, not even rogue planets. The precision was surgical, the rhythm unmistakably artificial. And some believe it might not be the signal of something alive, but something aware. Then came the moment no one expected. In a follow-up observation, conducted precisely 27 days after the first detection, the James Webb team observed a displacement. The object, once thought to be stationary, had shifted, not through space, but through dimensions. It didn't drift like a comet or accelerate like a ship. It blinked, like a strobe, from one location to another, as if skipping across the cosmic fabric, not moving through it. It reappeared just 0.004 degrees off from its original position, an imperceptible fraction to the human eye, but catastrophic to the calculations of scientists. Because if something can displace itself without leaving a trail, it means it's not bound by the speed of light. 
it means it's not bound by time. The only known parallel to this kind of behavior exists in quantum theory, entangled particles reacting instantly across vast distances. But this wasn't subatomic. This was a structure the size of a small moon, behaving as if the laws of classical physics were a mere suggestion. When astrophysicists simulated the movement, they found something even more unnerving. The pattern of its reappearances formed a spiral, pointing inward, toward Earth. By the fourth month of analysis, the team was no longer asking whether the object was dangerous. They were asking if it was thinking. Geometric patterns around the anomaly began to stabilize into fractal formations, self-replicating shapes that echo biological systems. Not like bones or organs, but like neural pathways. The longer the telescope stared, the more the patterns evolved, adapting to the sensor's orientation, correcting themselves in real time, almost like it was adjusting to being observed. Scientists coined a chilling term for this behavior, responsive geometry. Some even speculated the object may be a kind of dimensional antenna, or worse, a living construct designed not to travel, but to anchor itself in place, waiting for something. One AI model trained to simulate alien pattern recognition Algorithms broke down when fed the telescope's data. It froze, looped, and finally returned a single word in its error log, recognized. The message was clear, though no one dared say it aloud. This isn't a discovery, it's a reply. After weeks of capturing more data, the web team noticed a curious phenomenon, not in the object itself, but in the surrounding field. A background radiation shift, almost imperceptible at first, began to emerge. Unlike cosmic microwave background or localized bursts of radiation from stars, this signal was oddly synchronized with the object's pulses, but delayed, as if we were witnessing an echo. Spectral analysis confirmed something chilling. The signal contained harmonic layers that shouldn't be there, frequencies arranged not by random emission, but in nested intervals reminiscent of musical chords. Some scientists began calling it the Song of the Void, but others weren't as poetic. A signal like this, they said, is almost impossible to generate unless there's a deliberate mechanism behind it. Not a chaotic stellar process, but an engineered pattern. More disturbingly, the waveform harmonics weren't stable. They reacted slightly to Webb's positional changes. This led to a horrifying hypothesis. The signal wasn't passive, it was interactive. It was watching, measuring, echoing back, as if the object wasn't just broadcasting, it was listening. Amid the growing panic behind the scenes, a group of theoretical mathematicians was brought in to analyze the numerical structure of the pulses. And that's when everything changed. Hidden within the signal's timing sequence was an embedded mathematical constant that doesn't naturally occur in known cosmic phenomena, the Lemur prime spiral. A configuration of prime numbers plotted in a spiral pattern that has long puzzled number theorists for its strange resonance with nature. But here it was, repeated exactly in the intervals between the anomaly's distortions. Some scientists believed it might be a universal language, a kind of mathematical Rosetta Stone, a calling card, or worse, an identifier. If someone or something placed that signature there, it would mean they understood the deepest structures of our reality. And what came next drove the fear even deeper. When the sequence was graphed in three dimensions, it formed a complex helix, one nearly identical to the double helix of human DNA. Coincidence? Perhaps. But when scientists ran the numbers, they realized the timing intervals in the pulses matched genetic codons used in our own biology. Something wasn't just watching. Something understood what it was watching. And maybe knew us before we ever saw it. That's when everything started to go quiet. Publicly available web data streams were suddenly delayed. Access logs from research observatories began disappearing, and key scientists involved in the anomaly study began stepping away from their posts. Press releases from the agencies involved shifted in tone. Once filled with enthusiasm and transparency, they became vague, evasive, bureaucratic. Insiders leaked that several international space agencies were pulled into emergency meetings, including the European Space Agency, NASA, and even private entities like Blue Origin and SpaceX. Not because the object posed an immediate threat, 
but because no one could confirm it wasn't already here, theories began to multiply. Was this some kind of probe? A sentry? A warning beacon? The timing of its discovery was chilling in itself. It appeared only after we had developed the instruments capable of seeing it, meaning it had either always been there, or it had waited until we were ready. But perhaps the most alarming detail was this. Deep space probes launched decades ago, like Voyager and New Horizons, had passed near this region without detecting a thing, which means the object is either cloaked from conventional instruments, or it wasn't there before. The final act, as always, comes silently. On the 48th day of targeted web observation, just before the telescope was scheduled to switch to another region of space, something changed. The anomaly's signature disappeared. No pulses, no distortions, just static. But before that silence settled in, Webb's sensors captured one last image, an infrared composite unlike anything seen before. It wasn't a shadow. It wasn't a distortion. It was a shape, symmetrical, angular, perfectly proportioned, like a sigil floating in space. It lasted just three frames, too brief for full decoding, but artificial intelligence analysis confirmed the structure was not random. It was geometric, composed of nested triangles, circles, and lines forming a recursive pattern. And then, it vanished. Since then, nothing has reappeared. But the data remains. The silence remains. And perhaps, most terrifying of all, the possibility remains that whatever this was, whatever is out there, didn't leave. It simply stopped letting us see it. So what did James Webb really see out there? A silent watcher in the cosmic dark? A signal meant for those advanced enough, or foolish enough, to notice? Or maybe just a glitch in reality that we were never supposed to decode? The terrifying truth is this. The deeper we stare into the void, the more the void seems to respond. What we once believed to be an empty canvas is now starting to look like a mirror. And maybe, just maybe, something on the other side has finally noticed us staring back. This discovery isn't about space anymore. It's about what we are not ready to understand. It's about the possibility that we've triggered a conversation with an intelligence that doesn't use language, but geometry, rhythm, and silence. And the worst part? We still don't know if it's trying to communicate or to warn us. One thing is certain. James Webb didn't just capture data. It opened a door. And what's waiting behind it may rewrite everything we thought we knew, not just about the universe, but about ourselves. If this story made you question what's out there and what might already be watching us, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more terrifying discoveries, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a moment the universe breaks its silence again. Because this isn't science fiction anymore. This is science reacting.